Hey guys, in this video, we're going to create what is called a symbolic link uh, in our WSL environment, and that's going to give us the ability to expose and use a folder that would be in our Windows environment where we can keep our projects and our code, but we can still take advantage of the WSL uh, Ubuntu environment um, as well. So to explain a little bit more about what we're actually doing or the problem that we're trying to solve, a lot of people who start programming and start developing on Windows might do something like this, where they create a projects folder on their C drive, and that's where they tend to keep all of their code that they're working on um, and things like that. Now, what we need to use because we're using you know Windows environment and it's 2022, uh, and we want to be up to date, we have this now WSL environment, which is basically a Linux environment, but we don't want to necessarily move all of the stuff that we've already created over here. Also, maybe, you know, just in general, your preference is to have something that is in your Windows environment, you're not completely sold on the WSL environment, or you don't want to keep all of your project folders in another uh, spot that I can show you right now, which is basically if we open up the Windows Explorer, and we go to whack whack WSL and then dollar sign, hit enter, you see that we have this Ubuntu folder here, and if we go to the home, in my case James folder, you'll see that we have test one, test two, and uh, we have this at AWS folder and this Azure folder. If we look over here in the Linux environment, we see the same thing. We see test one, test two. We see this linked uh, uh, folder, which basically is what we're going to create, uh, but we're going to point this as opposed to the users folder in, JW, in jmdl.azure or AWS. We're going to create our own linked list that actually is pointing to, in my case, my projects folder. So to do that, it's fairly simple. We just need to use the ln command. So basically, we're going to say ln, and then we're going to use a dash s, which will create a symbolic link. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what symbolic links are right now, but basically, it's um, instead of um, being restricted as a hard link. And then we're going to say MTN, which is our mounted drive, uh, or at least, I'm sorry, in a Linux system, it is basically saying, I know you don't think that this is a drive, but I'm gonna tell you about a drive that exists somewhere else in the world. Uh, and that's what this MTN, MNT, sorry, MNT uh, part means. And then we're going to say the C drive in our case, and then the projects folder. If I hit enter on this, and I do an ls, oh, sorry, let's just clear this so that it gets back at the top of the screen. And I do an ls-lah. We'll see now that we have a new folder that is called projects that is pointing to the mounted drive on the C drive in the projects folder. So now if I cd two projects from the Linux environment and do one more ls, we will see that we get all of the folders that we had in our projects folder on our C drive in the Linux environment. And now when we update code in Windows, in our Windows folder, it will just automatically also be updated um, in our Unix environment. This isn't strictly necessary, but I do believe that it can help some people get around what exactly is the definition, the difference between the WSL environment and the Windows environment and making it a little bit more uh, comfortable for people who don't necessarily want to just put all of their stuff in this mounted drive um, that maybe uh, shouldn't exist. So I hope this, uh, I hope this uh, uh, tutorial was uh, useful to you and see you next time. So I think that this is kind of helpful because basically, you know, instead of having a folder that is, um, that is out here in this kind of sort of like 
environment that you might not necessarily have a lot of control over. For example, you know, if we were to shut down our Ubuntu environment on Windows, this folder that I'm pointing at right now in the Explorer is going to go away. This Ubuntu folder will be removed, essentially. Um, and now we have a folder that exists all the time in our Windows environment. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, thank you very much.